In certain elements, user interface is used to distribute hangers on elements by defined rules. Insert elements has two tabs. One for managing and filtering elements to insert smart hangers on, called by category name of the element chosen, for example, ducts. And insert element tab, which allows user to manage rules of particular insertion of hangers. To round up, insert elements interface allows user to choose the elements of particular category, for example, ducts, pipes, conduits, cable trays, etc. And insert hangers or supports on them and connect to any reference possible. References might be walls, structural framings, or even model lines or reference planes. In the host category tab, we have a huge possibilities to filter out needed elements. That is done with categorization, parameter use, and parameter modification capabilities. The interface is not standalone, so selections are dynamic. The selections and all modifications are associated with the project elements. So when making a selection or modification, all changes are made in real time and can be seen in project windows. This interface is divided into two parts, plus additional functions below. Right pane allows to define grouping of element category in the project, whereas right pane show element properties of that group. Both are completely modifiable. Right pane is modified by pressing configure grouping, right one by, by pressing select parameters. You can group your element categories by various parameters available, such as rooms or spaces, family names, system types, types, marks, even face created, etc. That allows huge versatility. When category grouping is set, parameters should be selected to be able to use even more selection possibilities. By pressing select parameters, we can add all available hanger parameters by pressing add and remove by selecting parameter and press remove button. After adding necessary parameters, the right pane has right mouse button capability, which allows filter out elements by single or multiple selection of value. To set selection, just select and leave it like that and go to insert elements for hanger distribution on selected elements. Insert elements are divided into two parts, left pane and right pane. Left pane shows corresponding hanger family list in your project. After selecting the type, you can add the family to the list on the right pane. When the hanger type is present, the set of rules for that hanger type is lit up. All rules has set of parameters which can be modified. After the rule is selected, user can set parameters for distribution. There are capabilities to choose how the hangers will be distributed. User can distribute them by fixed number, maximum spacing, etc. Offset them, offset to side, choose the connection type, intersection category, etc. Below the right pane, there is a button to insert hangers or supports to model after configuration is set. To insert hangers or supports on elements, there's two ways to do that. One, User can press straight on the function of particular category of elements user wants to insert, for example, duct, and press on corresponding function. For example, if we want to put hangers on horizontal duct, that is done by pressing duct, insert horizontal duct hangers. Go to duct, that is how the category is now named, select the duct you want to insert hangers onto, then go to insert elements and select wanted hanger type you want to insert and press add and select the rule 
that will be used for hanger distribution. Set the reference to structural framing. Select the structural framing type and press insert to model. If everything was fine, the message besides the button will show the number of hangers inserted. The insertion were successful.